So here's a demonstration of what we're looking for for the final. We're going to come in and take x-ray images of the knee. So we will find a lateral knee first and then our AP. And we want to find the, the most efficient position for this. So the image fulcrum, meaning that both projections will be centered um, in both planes at one time. So first things first, we're going to come on in. We'll raise up our height so that when we come in, we don't hit the patient. Go ahead and swing on into the field. And I want to position my C-arm roughly where I feel the knee joint will be. And from there, I'll come through for my lateral projection first. I'm putting the C-arm all the way flat first. So let's raise up to what I feel is a, a good estimate of the height. And we'll take a picture there. So our level, we're a little bit high, so I'm going to slide this though, just to try and center that joint. That looks better there. So next, I'm going to look for my anterior posterior alignment. So let's go ahead and raise up. I'm going to come up to about 10 degrees. Let's see if that makes it better or worse. That's definitely better. Let's try another couple just to see. And even better still. And I think we actually got it pretty good in terms of our inferior superior, so I do not have to apply WAG. So from this point, I will then come on up for my AP. But first, I will mark the level that my lateral is at for my rotation. And I will add, so here I'm about 12 degrees. So I will come up 90 plus those 12. So my true AP is 90 degrees from where my lateral was. I'll left to right that lateral. And there's my AP. We have that centered. So did I maintain my center if I come through from my lateral? Take a picture there. Now I pulled back, so my C, my central ray should be posterior which means I will have to make a correction. Uh, you're right in that assessment. So let's go ahead and raise up because our AP locks are in and out. So we don't want to make that change. We went too far. Picture there. I'm going to come down just a hair more. So split the difference. Okay, so now that our lateral is nice and centered, hopefully when I come up for my AP, I should be nice and centered in both planes. So now I've reached that image fulcrum where both projections are centered and I can just happily go back and forth without having to make any other adjustments to my C-arm. And that's what we're looking for.